High converting means that the people that actually come to your website do the thing that you wanted them to do. Uh, we refer to that as the call to action. So if you ran an ad somewhere, the call to action was sign up for whatever, and they click that button. But when they get to your website, they need to actually uh, do it. <laughs> that's that's the conversion part. So you're converting it from you know a set of eyeballs to a, a sales lead or from a lead to a customer. Mm -hmm. There's lots of things you can do to that website to make it high conversion. Yeah, and we'll talk about how this pairs with having an offer and a funnel. But really, guys, what it comes down to is you got to set up a website. There's lots of free ways to do that. You can set it up on WordPress. You can set it up on Squarespace, on Wix. You can. We'll we'll show you guys how to do that. You can find that out there to do all day long. Um, you want to use emotion on your website. A lot of times people just put walls of text. You want to put faces, like faces, emotion, like sell people. It gets people feeling a certain yeah. way, right? Happy employees, happy customers. Yeah, show outrageous faces in your marketing or happy, like smiling or showing like some type of emotion that gets people to like you more, right? Um, another thing is your social pro profile. So this goes with your website because you plug in your social profiles into your website so people can go find more ways to like you and trust you and like read more about you. But you know, you've got your Facebook, you've got your Instagram, you've got, there's a million of them, right? There's a bunch of ones you can plug in. So find which ones you want to use, but make but you, sure- But you got to use them. <laughs> you got to use them and you got to make sure this all matches. Make sure the name of your business, your phone number, your website, this, an easy way to schedule your cleaning services coming from these back to your website, right? Tie it all in and it's a whole ecosystem that you're building there. Um, you also want to be building reviews on these. You can get reviews on Facebook and a lot of these other platforms that tie back to your website. So that's building trust and authority out in the market. Yeah. But those are displayed on your website. So yep. the reviews happen somewhere else. The reviews happen at Google, Yelp, Facebook, whatever. Right. But on your website, all those companies have widgets that you pull those in and there's like a little scrolling thing with five star from this customer, five star from that customer. Yeah. If you really want to get crazy, record customer testimonials. Go out with a camera like this and go to their house, tell them, to explain why they love San Diego Green Clean so much, or your cleaning company. Why have you been a customer for five years? Mm -hmm. And then take that, edit it out, put it front and center on the website. That is the high conversion part. That's the emotion part that, mm -hmm. that your future potential customers are looking for. Yeah, and also show, if you're not if you're not ready to do that yet, just show before and after pictures of your work. Show, uh, up, upload lots of pictures and, and get reviews and, and make sure you are working these profiles. And, and this is gonna bring people from out in the social world, kind of like at a big party, to come into your business to work with you. And this is where you're gonna convert them. They're already gonna maybe trust you, but when they come to your website, they're gonna see more of that trust, more reasons to work with you. And essentially, you're selling them on why to work with you, but you gotta have an offer and all this other stuff. So we're gonna get into that. <laughs>